time is precious and maybe you are looking to quickly top up your gamer score or just want to get some gaming fun on the go. Well, with these fantastic games, you will be able to easily get through them in a weekend. Return to Gears 5 with the Hive Busters expansion, which is a standalone DLC campaign for the Gears 5 game. Hive Busters has you undertaking the squad's first suicide mission, where you explore the tropical Galangi Islands, battle enemies with the team's ultimate abilities and confront a deadly new predator. I preferred this to the Gears 5 campaign as it reminded me a lot more of the previous Gears of War games, which were much more linear and no open world areas like Gears 5. When playing through the main storyline, Gears 5 Hive Busters is about 3 hours long and is available on Game Pass, so it is a must play, especially in co-op with 3 friends where the fun level is taken up to the max. Bright Memory Infinite is a lightning fast fusion of FPS and action genres, created by FYQD Studio and is one of my favourite games of recent times for a quick blast of arcade style adrenaline. You must combine a wide variety of skills and abilities to unleash dazzling combo attacks to defeat wave after wave of enemies looking to thwart your progress at every turn. When blasting your way through the main game, Bright Memory Infinite is about 2 hours long. If you're a completionist, you are likely to spend around 5.5 hours to obtain 100% completion. It's really unusual to see a game with the production values of Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes be as short as it is. And that is because Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes was released as a teaser for the full experience of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. You can play and finish this game in a matter of 2 hours, but there's so much to explore if you have more time than that. The story was a very exciting prologue into The Phantom Pain, and if you enjoy this I recommend you set aside some more time and take The Phantom Pain for a spin. The first episode in an ongoing anthology horror series from Supermassive Games, Man of Medan is probably the shortest and slickest interactive scare fest on the market right now, coming in between 4 to 6 hours long depending on how many of your characters survive to the end. When focusing on the main objectives, the Dark Pictures anthology Man of Medan is about 4.5 hours in length. However, the best part about Man of Medan is its cooperative mode, which you can play online or locally with friends, each of whom can be responsible for a different character throughout the game's story. Being able to play through this in a few short hours makes Man of Medan a fantastic choice for a Halloween party or a spooky night in. Abzu is a short and sweet game where you take control of an unnamed scuba diver and swim through the ocean. From the art director of Journey, Abzu delivers a beautiful underwater adventure that evokes the dream of diving. Immerse yourself in a vibrant hidden world, bursting with colour and life as you descend into the heart of the ocean, but beware as you swim deeper, dangers lurk in the depths. When swimming through the main game, Abzu is about 2 hours in length. If you're a gamer that wants to see more of the game, you are likely to spend closer to 4 hours to get that 100% completion. A Way Out is the longest game on this list as it takes an average of 6.5 hours to complete its story, but the extended playtime is well worth it due to the unique co-op nature of the game as you journey through with a friend online via the internet or right next to each other with some old school couch co-op fun. You and a friend will take the roles of Vincent and Leo, a pair of convicts on a high stakes prison break and your attempted escape is essentially made up of a varied series of minigames, all of which revolve around co-op mechanics where you must work together to succeed. It's a fun, unique gaming experience, just make sure the person you're playing with is someone you don't mind spending 6 hours alongside trying to break out of prison. 
Jill Valentine is one of the last remaining people in Raccoon City to witness the atrocities Umbrella performed. To stop her, Umbrella unleashes their ultimate secret weapon, Nemesis. Resident Evil 3 is a remake of the classic Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This game is less heavy on the puzzles and backtracking than the Resident Evil 2 remake, so it feels a lot quicker to play through. However, it is still a great game and looks excellent on next-gen consoles. You can tear through Raccoon City with Jill Valentine in Resident Evil 3 in roughly 6 hours or so. If you enjoy it so much and want more, you can spend around 20 and a half hours to try and complete everything. The Gunk is a very chilled out third person action adventure game which you have been waiting for. Lead a duo of outer space explorers that chance upon a dangerous planet plagued by a corruptive gunk. You then head out on your adventure which will have you clearing up this planet, hoovering up all the gunk you can find to restore its natural beauty. And speaking of beauty, the game's graphics are pretty beautiful also. When focusing on the main objective, the gunk is about 4.5 hours in length. Or if you're looking for more achievements, then it's around 6.5 hours for you to obtain 100% completion. The gunk dropped day one on Xbox Game Pass, so it's definitely worth checking out. Now why not check out some amazing free games to add to your game library for when you complete all of these short games by clicking the card on screen.